So we now come to our technology showcase section and staying with today's theme of emerging pollutants, we have three technologies which specialize in addressing that issue. We start with Serafiltech from Germany. Now, Serafiltech is arguably the most innovative ceramic flat sheet membrane module in the world right now. The key thing here is that ceramic membranes have so much more to offer than conventional UF membranes. For example, they allow for the combination of absorption and filtration in one step, enabling the selective removal uh, of dissolved contaminants such as PFAS. Now, as explained in this short video from uh, the COO, Julius Glockner, which was rather impressively filmed last week in their offices during lockdown on a mobile phone, Serafiltech has demonstrated that they can remove PFAS to below detectable levels from high initial concentrations. Our ultrafiltration is based on ceramic flat sheet membrane technology. It is not just an ultrafiltration. We combine filtration with adsorption, and this allows us to remove even dissolved contaminations, such as radioactive isotopes, molecules, odor, taste, color, dissolved organics, and also PFAS below detectable limits. The membrane is an outer infiltration membrane. That means it's fully submerged in water. The water penetrates both sides from the membrane out to in, gets collected in these water channels, and gets sucked in operation out of this nozzle. One module then has 34 of these full membranes that have end caps and nozzles on both sides. The water flows through the end caps, gets collected here in the main, in the front side of the module to the side and flows out to the top to the main header pipe. And the backwash works exactly the other way. The water gets pushed into the module and into the membranes. But how do we remove PFAS with an ultrafiltration? Well, about a decade ago, we invented a process by which we are layering the membrane with a very thin layer of an adsorbent to selectively remove dissolved contaminations. For example, for removing radioactive isotopes, we're using a manganese-based layer. For removing PFAS, we're using powder-activated carbon as a layer on the membrane. During operation then, this layer gets replenished after every backwash. This is a membrane coated with powder-activated carbon. Evenly distributed on the membrane surface, very thin, as you can see. And during the filtration process, every water molecule needs to pass the powder activated carbon layer before it enters the inner membrane channels. During this process, every PFAS molecule gets absorbed by the powder activated carbon. And once the powder activated carbon layer is fully saturated and cannot absorb any more PFAS molecules, we simply perform a standard backwash to replenish the layer and start filtration again. And how easy it is to remove the layer, you can see here. It is not sticky. So why is this special? Well, finally, it all comes down to cost. And this is where ceramic flat sheet membrane combined with powder activated carbon yields much better economics than other solutions, such as GAC, ion exchange or reverse osmosis. Everyone knows the smaller the particle size and the closer they are together, the better the absorption effectiveness and efficiency. And we simply need three times less of the adsorbent. Further, we are achieving a recovery rate of up to 99%. This means a very small waste stream. Hence, low disposable costs. And this process has been proven. 600,000 cubic meters of daily plant capacity have been installed using this process. And this is why we firmly believe that ceramic flat sheet membranes with powder activated carbon will become the standard in removing PFAS. Excellent. I love that gazing into the distance as he asks, as he asks his own questions. 